Hello everyone, uh, this is size 12 light wire grub hook and the body I'm going to be using a clear stretch this is a 0.5 millimeter beading elastic which is a this is a lime color actually I want to get olive uh, an olive effect so I'm just going to put a little bit on the hook uh, olive color this is a permanent marker it's called a promo pro marker so add a little on the hook and just to help uh, get more color onto it basically I'm not going to use thread at the moment so what I'll do here just give it a little stretch and just start just in the middle or well below the eye because we need a uh, rest of the material there so if you go touching turn and take away this extra piece and give it a nice stretch keep going all the way and just about here now you come back leaving a little gap just give a little segmentation or what you call a ribs and as you can see it looks quite nice actually now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a thread now. The thread I'm using is a red A toe. So keep your stretch in one hand and add the thread same time. Take your time, need a little practice with that. And now just cut this material with the same thread. Little tricky, but as I always mention, take your time with all your flies. More practice will make perfect and then take away this extra piece and just secure it we need enough space over here okay this thread is splitting but don't worry about it. it's gonna have a, some dubbing here and the next thing I'm gonna add is a suspender which is a booby cylinder five millimeter Sorry, you don't have any more, so I'm gonna kind of just catch that here. Take your time, secure this properly, and then you can alter it after. And this is kind of secure, go in the front. Okay, um, the next material is going to be a wing birds, which is a cheeks or wing birds. This is a goose by it fluorescent orange I'm gonna take two and I'm just gonna cut this this side of the uh, by it and put them on kind of either side of the hook and Take your time again. Make sure they're facing downward. Nothing is too far behind. Just catch them a little closer to the cylinder. And just bring them downward. And I'm going to cut this off very close either end. bit tricky like I said you know okay what I'll do here is just uh, 
and just a couple of finish here so I'm gonna add some glue on to this before I go any further so if you just chop them okay now here you need a good um, UV resins I'm gonna just kind of put a little bit here to have a nice big head before I move any further and then cure it need to cure it properly and then kind of dry your brush a little you don't want too much here because you need to get a nice shape on this one right this is scared now um, I'm using the same A2 uh, thread which is a uh, red and I'm just gonna get some marks done and just kind of split the thread use your nail to flatten it and then split it up gently and now I have got this golden olive CDC in this magic tool and if you just catch it gently take your time again and then spin And that should be okay and now we have to do is just bring your CDC kind of cover all this empty space all the way so it seems okay now because this is almost done now so what I'm gonna do go one in the front and then come back to the back of the cylinder uh, I'm gonna alter the hook to get position so I can get my hand around I'm gonna get some more wax on the thread unwind the thread in case it breaks so the next material now if it's up to you it's a UV dubbing synthetic dubbing synthetic one it's just a very little amount just uh, tiny but don't put too much don't twist too much on this we need this a bit loose keep going and then pull this back catch everything here and the best way is to finish add a little varnish on the thread hold everything back if you turn and we finish now after this you can work with your dubbing so get this off if you can just get a little dubbing brush or needle and just kind of open this up 
I'm just going to take some so off. So there we have a transparent or clear stretch. Suspender buzzer, great pattern. Works really well. I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.